What's up guys, Justin here with the renderingessentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek of what Twin Motion is working on in their future versions. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so before we get started, if you are interested in learning how to use Twin Motion, make sure you check out my Twin Motion Essentials course. That's my course where I teach you start to finish how to use Twin Motion from the basics all the way through teaching you how to create some example projects so you can understand the way that the lighting works, everything like that. So if you do want to dive a little bit deeper in Twin Motion, you can check that out at the renderingessentials.com slash Twin Motion course. All right, so we just talked about the newest version of Twin Motion, version 2020. 23.1, which is currently an early access. Um, and what I wanted to get into is how Twin Motion is handling future updates so we can see what's coming and also how we can provide feedback in order to um, help them add the features that are the most helpful for their users. So first off, I will link to this in the notes down below. This is the Twin Motion public roadmap. What that means is it means that Twin Motion is public about what they're currently working on, what improvements they're working on, what they're doing with the engine, other things like that. I will link to this in the notes down below, but this is very valuable for us as Twin Motion users. And so if you go to this page, notice how there's three different tabs, right? There's the released tab, there's the in progress tab, and then there's the under consideration tab. So what that means is that means that we can see information on any of the new features they've added, right? So like these procedural cycloramas, the LED wall, these were all added in 2023.1. You can actually click on them in order to see more information about them. Now, these are helpful because they show us what's happening with the new version, but I'm much more interested in the in progress and the under consideration because those are the ones that are going to drive the direction that Twin Motion is going to go. So like for example, if you click on in progress, what that means is that that means that these are all things that they're currently working on, right? So they're working on some new assets. They're working on um, improvements to the reflections as well as the path tracing engine. But then there's also some other tools in here that they're working on as well. So like a multiple camera view, um, giving you the ability to actually see kind of a, a picture in picture shot of another camera right here. Now, what else is super valuable on this is we can actually vote on these. And you should be doing this if you use Twin Motion, by the way. You can click on each one of these and you can note how important a feature is to you. So you can click on nice to have, important, or critical, and then you can also leave feedback. So like for example, let's jump over into the under consideration because these are the ones that they're thinking about adding but they haven't committed to adding yet. Well for me, one of the really important ones is having the ability to do camera presets because I really dislike having to recreate the wheel every time that I start a new project. I would really like to be able to bring in camera presets that let me set um, my resolution, my times a day, the, um, the backgrounds, other things like that so that I don't have to come back in here and do this over and over again. Well, note that I have marked this one as critical. So to me, it's critical in the sense that there are other programs that I've used that actually allow me to save these presets and it saves me a lot of time. So because this takes so much time, it's really important for me. So what you need to do on something like this is you need to click on critical and then you need to type in why this is really important. You can also add an email address in there in case uh, they wanna ask you any questions or anything like that. I think you have to add an email address in order to submit this. Um, but we can look through this and not only can we vote on what's coming up. So camera presets, for example, is a huge deal to me. But if you don't see something in here, Right, so if we look at this, um, there's nothing in here really. There's some vegetation enhancements, but there's nothing in here that specifically talks about the grass material. So let's say that you wanted them to improve the grass material. You can actually submit it as an idea by clicking on this button right here and clicking on submit new idea. Okay, so since I'm not seeing this in here, I'm gonna submit an idea that says improve the grass placement tool so the grass doesn't overlap the things that we're trying to apply it to. I'm gonna mark this as very important. Um, and don't mark everything as critical, by the way. Um, but in this case, this is very important because we actually can't apply grass in a way that's super realistic without having to do a bunch of cleanup and filling in of the edges and other things like that. So I would mark this as critical. I would go ahead and I would place my email address in here and I would click on submit. 
And so then what it's going to do is it's going to send a link to your email. You can confirm that and then they'll decide if they want it to go on this roadmap or not. I really like that Twinmotion is doing this because it gives them an idea of what their users need. And it also gives us the ability to have a voice in the development of the product. So take a look at these, see if there's anything that you want to see added in the future. Again, keep it civil. I know the folks over at Twinmotion are doing the best they can to try to add useful features. And I think they're doing a great job, but this is a unique feature that I really like. And I think we should be involved as twin motion users. If you want to learn more about how do you learn twin motion, make sure you check out my twin motion essentials course. I will link to that in the notes down below. It's a start to finish course teaching you how to create renderings in twin motion. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.